Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss regarding how to fix a particular error in Odoo. So currently in the screen, you are seeing Odoo version 14 community edition where I am getting an internal server error. So we all know that once you get an internal server error, we have to check the Odoo log file. So as I'm running Odoo with PyCharm, I'll go to my PyCharm and I can see the log over here so i have recently deleted the log so i'll come back to the browser again and i will refresh so that the log will get updated so before looking into the log i get this error upon adding a new type field to the product sorry i have inherited the product template and to the type field i have added an one more value called test you can see using selection add i'm going to add one more value to an existing selection field so upon adding this code i got this internal server error and if i comment this code so if i comment this code so you can see i have commented this code and if i restart my service and if i go to browser and if you refresh you will not get the 500 internal server error so what i'm trying to do is that if you go to inventory you have the products and what i'm trying to do is that i need to add a new value to this product field so currently we will have three values so you can see i have added already i have added this value so let me just upgrade the module so let me go to the apps menu and i will upgrade odoo 14 development tutorials module so the module has been added and if i go back to inventory then to the products you can see we have by default three values consumable service and storable so what i'm trying to do is that i need to add a one more value to that field so the field name is type this field name is type i haven't activated the debug mode so let me activate the debug mode by adding question mark debug equal to one in the url so the field name is type so here you can see i have inherited the product template model type fields dot selection and using selection add i'm going to add one more value to that field so upon doing that you can see i have removed the, removed the comment from the code and if i restart and if i restart my odoo service and if i refresh you will be getting the internal server error and if you check the log you can see value error product template that is my model and type type is the field that we are working with required selection field must define an on delete policy that implements the proper cleanup of corresponding records upon an installation so it says that we have to define an on delete policy for the selection field so the case is that suppose we have added uh, first of all let me do something let me make it work then i will explain the reason for this so the error says that we have to define an on delete policy so here you can see required selection field must define on delete policy so let's see how we can define an on delete policy policy for a selection field so this is my odoo source code and i'll click on find in path and if you search for on delete equal to you can see along with this field you can see on delete policy so simply i'll copy this on delete policy from here and i'll put it over here tracking true after tracking true i'll set this that is on delete equal to you have to specify your key value of selection field that is my field value new field value is test this value and i have set it as set default so just i have defined an on delete policy over here and i'll just restart the service and if you refresh you can see there will not be the error you can see the error has been gone and if you check here still you will have three fields because you haven't upgraded the module after adding the new value so from here i'll just upgrade the odoo 14 development tutorials module so once the module is upgraded you will have the new value in the selection field so i'll come back to the inventory products here you can see you have got test new value here 
So let's discuss about what is on delete policy. So right now what we have done, we have added the test and I have saved it. So you can see currently I have added a record and for that record I have selected or choose the new value. So the system should know what happens if you uninstall this module. So suppose if we uninstall the OM hospital module, still the product will be there in the database because product is coming from the product module. So what should happen? What should happen once you uninstall the OM hospital module that brings this value. So OM hospital module is bringing this test value. So I have choose this test here and suppose user is going to uninstall the OM hospital module from the system. So what should happen with this record? So that we have to delete. So here we have chosen test and on deleting that is if you are uninstalling OM hospital modules we are saying those records with value test we have to set default we have to set the value as the default value of field so we have set it as set default so set default means this product will be set back to consumable if you create a new record you can see the default value sorry storable if you uninstall sorry if we are creating a new product you can see the default value is coming as store storable product so once we uninstall the OM hospital module, the value of this field will be changed to storable. So let's see that. So set default, we have set, it should be set to default value. So let's duplicate this tab and let's uninstall the OM hospital module. So I'll just uninstall this module, confirm. So let's wait until it get uninstalled. So we are expecting it to get to set back to storable. So the module has been successfully uninstalled. And if refresh, you can see it's set back to consumable. That is the initial, I think that is the initial default value of that field. If you check this field definition, field stored selection inside the Uru code, point in path, I think consumable is the default value given for that field so let's take product dot template or we can directly go to add-ons and let me go to the product module of Uru where is product project product here we have the product module and if I search find in path you can see default value of this field is consume that is consumable so the value has been set back to the default value. So if you check the product BBB, you can see the value has been changed from test to consumable, which was its default value. And it's a required field. And you have the option uh, set null. You have the other, other option called set null and cascade. So let me add one more product, test pro to the system. I'll save it and let me install the OM hospital module. So I'll install this module and to just define the other use case. So we have another on delete policy as set null and cascade. So once you set it as on delete, we check on delete, we have cascade. So once you set it as cascade, the record itself will get deleted upon delete uninstalling this module. Suppose for that product BBB, we have set on delete policy as cascade. The product itself will get deleted on uninstalling this module. So let's try that case. So I'll set on delete policy as cascade. Find in path. I'll copy cascade. I'll put it over here. Instead of set default, I'll put cascade. I'll restart and I have to upgrade the module again. So let me go to discuss and apps and let me explain Odoo 14 development tutorials module. So this can be applicable in Odoo version 15 also. And you can see the module has been updated. So we will have the new value called test. So what I have done is that for the product test, I have set the value as test, the new selection field. And we have de defined on delete policy as
cascade. So let's see what happens to this record test pro upon uninstalling this module. So I'm expecting the product itself will get deleted. So I'll uninstall, confirm. So right now you can see we have two products in the database and after uninstalling this module, I think the product will be reduced to one. So you can see the product itself get deleted from the database. So you can see right now we have only single product. The test pro has been get deleted from the system as you have set the on delete policy as cascade. So we have learned what is on delete policy set default which will set the value as default value on delete cascade will delete the record itself and set null will keep the value as empty so i hope you understood why we have to set on delete policy so still if you don't understand feel free to have a comment or you can connect us in the email or you can connect us in the social medias so just once you add a new value to a selection field using selection add don't forget to specify on delete policy suppose if we are adding one more value like here we are adding one more value test 2 then you have to specify it like this put a comma and test 2 you can put set null or set default you have to specify like this so that's it for the video if you have any doubts suggestions or feedback don't hesitate to reach us over the email that is odumates at gmail.com and if you like the video please do click the like button comment support and share that's it have a nice day thank you